Hi everyone, this is Deep Single from Attack Point. So today in this video, I will going to show you the tutorial on how you can install Hackintosh on your Lenovo Y50. I would like to tell you this is the most highly requested video on this channel and I got some time finally and I, I am starting to make step by step guide on how you can Hackintosh your Lenovo Y50. This method basically applied on all Hackintosh compatible PCs. If you got all ha compatible Hackintosh hardware, you can use the same thing and get your installation done. So in, this is the first part in which I will going to teach you how to make bootable installation device for your Hackintosh uh, using Clover UEFI. So basically this is the first part of this video and in this you will require one Mac running on your any system. If you don't have Mac you can go and check out the channel which I gave you which is a tech reviews channel. They have put a lot of method on how you can run Mac OS X on your PC using VMware. So in this video you will require some USB pen drives. Uh, so basically you need to one pen drive going to be used in bootable installation device uh, another one we're going to be used in installing Linux on it uh, now let's move and plug the USB into your laptop and once you're done with it just move to your Macintosh or Hackintosh Once you plug in the pen drive, you just need to go to App Store and look for the Yosemite and download it. It is a pretty much a very large file, so download it and as i recommend you, you use torrent or a kind of a data server from where you can resume the download now just go to your disk utility management and just let's begin with the partition of a first you need drive. to uh, go to your partition layout and select two on it and first partition will going to be a fat fat format and the other one will be a mac OS X general format so the fat one should be a maximum of a minimum of 300 MBs where the boot files gonna be located and the other one could be any anything around 7 GB to 6 GB and in the options you select the master boot record instead of any other and click OK once you're done with it, just click on apply. It will take a while to make a, and create a partition. Once your partition done, you just need to close this disk utility for now. Or you can just uh, download the EFI file which I gave you in the link below in the description. Once you download it, just unzip it and Put the EFI folder into your Clover directly. This EFI file is generally configured for Lenovo Y50, so you just don't need to touch anything in it. You just need to drag and drop it in the Clover, and and let's and let it be like that only. Though you don't have to worry about anything. And now let's begin with the install uh, installation of Yosemite in the another partition. So first you need to open the application where you downloaded the Yosemite packet and show the package content by right clicking on it. Once you see go to content and then go to shared support. Inside it you go to install ESD DMG and open it. It will going to take a time to mount. So once you open it you will see there is a package folder. there's a hidden file inside it which is uh, you can see by typing such terminal command as i can show you here i will leave a terminal command in the description also or uh, so that you can sh see the hidden files inside it 
Once you run the command, it will kill all the finder thing and re relaunch the finder and show you the hidden files inside it. You will find base system.dmg file, which is the main file which we want. Uh, once you get that file, just you need to right click and open it. It will going to mount again and you will see that this in this manager you will get an OSX base system uh, drive open. Uh, just you need to clone this drive uh, onto your USB. So you just drag the USB OSX drive into destination and source on the in the source you need to drag OSX base image. It will going to ask for the password. Just click OK and let it go. It will take time a lot. Just let it go. Once it's done, you will see that uh, pen drive renamed to the same that is OSX base system, which will going to confuse you a lot. Which one is the main pen drive one or which one the one you mounted from the Yosemite image? So just close everything and open the OSX base system from the this utility. As you can see, it's it's uh, hierarchically uh, arranged in the pen drive section so this one is the pen drive one uh, so now you go you need to see and uh, look for the installation and in, inside the system and installation and you need to delete the package allies file which is not a real file so now you need to drag and drop the real file which is available in this OSX install ESD which you can found in the desktop area uh, once you found that you just need to drag and drop the package file or you can just copy it into the installation folder of your pen drive Once your package file installed and copied on the installation folder, you just need to look for uh, another two files which are available in the same drive which is in OSX installed ESG and drag the both files that is base system.chung list and base system.dmg. Once these files copied your pretty much your pen drive is ready to boot and doing ready to install the Yosemite on your Hackintosh. So now let's eject all the image files which we, are, we, we opened earlier and now let's see what's inside our pen drive for a second. And this is the this is the uh, Yosemite image file which we clone in the pen drive and the other one is the clover in which we we install the iffy which is the boot file through which the pen drive uh, through which the laptop gonna boot our installation drive which is the OSX based system uh, I'm not really a technical person so I will not go into a really great details uh, so I just know the basics of it. So this configuration file is basically the file which contains all the hardware IDs and all the things which required uh, your laptop required by your Hackintosh to run uh, the installation of your Yosemite on your laptop or a PC which you are looking to install it. So the basically the configuration file depends on the hardware's of your laptop uh, so the main file is the configuration file 
you can look for all resources in tony mac x 86.com um, if you are looking to make a hackintosh so keep liking my videos and subscribe my channel uh, in second part i will going to show on how to install your simidi via bootable pen drive on your lenovo y50 uh which is pretty much this video is all about and focuses on line of y50 so thanks for watching this is deep single from attack point cheers